Okay, so theme, drama class. Yeah, drama was my favorite class in high school. Like, I loved it. I just loved the whole acting thing. It was just something that I greatly enjoyed and still do enjoy. I just don't get enough opportunity to do it now. For the first three years, like grade 9, 10, 11, it was really, really excellent. And we got to do all kinds of crazy creative things. Our teacher was brilliant. And then in grade 12, there were two drama classes scheduled at the same time, grade 11 and grade 12. And we got a different teacher who was not the amazing teacher. She had never taught drama before in her life. In fact, she has started off as like a kindergarten teacher and did not know what she was doing. And she tried and failed. And then we clearly made her feel bad about it. And then she cried. And then we felt bad about it. But we still didn't get a great drama education for grade 12, which was sad. Um, I would always go out for school musicals though, which is really good. I don't know. Do you guys do school musicals? Side note, High School Musical makes me angry, specifically High School Musical 3, which I was forced to see in theaters. If you've watched High School Musical 3, you will see that they have like these fantabulous sets, like amazing crazy sets. No high school can afford sets like that, like our stage, no. And then it's like there's all like different ones and it's all like in one play. It's like, oh, we'll just build a big tower, you know, it's not like we have to get that off for the next scene or anything. What? Unrealistic. Un realistic. One thing that I really like about working on a play or musical is the bonds that you make, like backstage, hanging out, and doing rehearsals together, like the friendships that are had, and like it's a very specific kind of hanging out. Because like you keep getting called back and forth to go on stage, and then you're like sitting around and watching other people do stuff. I don't know, it's just like a constant source of entertainment, which I find greatly fun. I'm really articulate today. Someone made me this freaking amazing Fluttershy card. Like, it's like a card that you open up, and it's it's Fluttershy. And I'm not showing you the other side because um, this person made six, like one for each of the ponies. And then we're like, hey, let's each take one that we feel that we are, and I'm the Fluttershy of our little group. And then we each like wrote in every one, so it's like a little yearbook, and that was college experience. There's always something in my eye. Oh, in more present time, I got the most amazing book in the world, okay? Like, my, a couple of my friends went to a Harry Potter world in Florida without me, and it made me very sad, and they got gifts for everyone, and most people got wands, you know, which would have been great, like, I do love a wand, but this is so much better, like, they know me. They clearly, you guys, my friends, you just know me because they got me the unofficial Hunger Games cookbook. What? Okay, one of the things that I found reading the Hunger Games is that they focus a lot on food. Like, a lot, a lot, a lot. And like, every recipe that they mention in the book series, plus more, so many more, is in here. So you can make Katniss' favorite lamb stew with dried plums, and you can make, like, uh, the raspberry soup that she has the capital in Catching Fire, and you can have, like, all of the things. They have, like, roast pheasant and crazy stuff. Like, they have stuff that would be from the districts. Like, you can you can make District 4 seaweed bread, okay? But you can also make fancy capital dishes, and it's so amazing, and I'm so excited to start cooking from this. Even though I don't cook, like, I'm gonna try and learn how to cook so I can make these things. Now I'm hungry.